Hello guys and welcome, this is Callum from Farky Studios and I'm here today with my FIFA 13 series. Just on screen now is a squad report and as I run through all these players I'd like to say a massive thank you to all the support that you guys have been giving the channel. We have reached like 490 subscribers, something ridiculous and to be honest we never thought we would get like this. We never thought we would get anywhere near probably over 10. So it's nice to be here and it's nice to be making videos for you guys so yeah thank you first game in this episode there's three games first game is Ipswich the FA Cup replay uh, I'm not sure around it's like the fourth round or something um, <laughs> I must say it's quite a struggle second game though just to get, give you like guys that's coming in the video we have the North London Derby at White Hart Lane First one was a bit of a bit of a bad game. This game though you gotta watch out for. We also have our horrid horror team, I don't like them in Premier League to be honest, is Stoke City. That's our third game. But as you can see in this game we played a bit of a weakened team. And Javinho there just come up short with the attempt from there. J. Manuel Thomas threads a lovely ball through. I don't know why I have to let him go. It's quite disappointing to see him go actually. Because he's someone who I really thought was going to be a, a big player at the club and then I conceded a penalty and I thought what the fuck it was just such a bad penalty decision in my opinion but then Chopra steps up stutters and as soon as you stutter in FIFA you pretty much know you're going to go down the middle and then Arshavin just off the back of that just smacks it away wide just showing you guys what Arshavin can do in career mode guys so be sure to look out for him uh, Eisfeld did get played over the through over the top there, and he does manage to smack that one in the back of the net. 45th minute, just before half time. You see replays here. It does look a little bit worse because the keeper did get a touch to it. I thought it went straight into the top corner when I first saw it, but that did make it one all at half time. Half time. So, yeah, as soon as we come back out, 50th minute, Javinho struggles off two of his men. But then I didn't know whether he was left footed or right footed, so I just smacked it and hoped for the best, really. Which is what Javinho does all the time, so... They did have a good strike there, I must admit. And um, Fabianski couldn't really deal with it, but it's alright, it's alright. Um, Eastman, should have just played the ball through there, I think that's Archman in the middle, but... Oh well. And then we did get the cross in, but... Oh well. Eisfeld smacks it wide and that was another squandered chance and then 85th minute they were about to go through on goal I thought this way I would likely have a, a chance to save it and I've already saved one from Chopper before he goes straight down the middle again but I went the wrong way I thought surely not two times in one game he would go down one the same way but they did finish extra time as well guys was the most boring thing ever so I went straight to penalties and um, yeah, Giroud, who was our best player taker on the night, hits the bar. What a typical, typical Giroud thing to do. And Jason Scotland, I think that's the Scotland of the years. He just calmly slots it home. There's nothing I could have done about that. Well, there probably was, but I, I didn't. I went the wrong way. It's not my fault. Arshavin, he's a clinical penalty taker in his time, and he smacks that one right in the top corner. That's a phenomenal effort. But right, right now we are disadvantaged. Taylor steps up and smacks that one home as well. So he, they are absolutely in the driving seat for this bit. Walcott calmly slots it away. He's a very experienced football player now. People still forget he's like 23 or 24 or something. But he's a very experienced player. And that's why Carson, that is a brilliant penalty. Not... I don't think any Ipswich player can score a penalty like that, let alone Arsenal players, so... But then Sanya scores that, and that, that penalty there was absolutely phenomenal. It was a brilliant penalty, and I'm quite proud to say that I scored it. J. Manuel Thomas is still being paid for Arsenal, apparently, because he just basically gave us the advantage back in this game. Oxley chamberlain strikes the ball, and it is right in the top corner again. You can see a theme here that I like the top left-hand side of the goal. And yeah, 
it's my favourite. So Cresswell, the pressure's on him, and I guess the right way, and I save the penalty, and we do go through, guys. So quarter round, I think it's round of sixteen actually that we're through to now. Um, but oh well, we did make it through, very unconvincing, but still, yeah, round of sixteen, and then. Um, quarterfinals we're into now, and I think we should be theoretically playing Stoke. But I saw on a fixture list, I think we're playing against Blackburn. So, oh well. Um, we also found this guy. I don't know where he came from because I never actually brought him into my squad. But he's potential 94, 94 potential. That's amazing. So, you know, it was. Great. And then we have the next game, guys. It was it was a tense affair, I must admit, and that did display in both teams' performances at White Hart Lane. And these two players, it was Aaron Lennon and Jermaine Defoe and Gareth Bale just stole the show. Constant, constant bombardment of the goal at my end, and didn't manage to score both of those chances. I'm really surprised. But and then I had a chance there, and it did hit the post which is unfortunate but then a silk gets a nice cross in Dembele slices it across goal so another missed by Tottenham there um, Scott Parker this is just a massive goal mark fuffle um, Adebayor he was never going to score because he's not a very good striker I must admit and then the game did finish 0-0 then we are into the next game against Stoke City and I wasn't allowed to wear my home kit because it was too similar to Stoke's so I wasn't allowed to but we did get we started off this game really really nicely we had a f quite a few chances that we should have scored second minute there was that was the key one but then Nabry gets the cross in Santi Gazzola heads it hits the bar and Giroud with the follow up and that is what I want to see Giroud is a goal scoring machine. Absolutely sensational. Santi Gazzola plays a nice free ball to walk up there. He should have really sweated it, but for the aid of the recording, I didn't sweat it. Simple as that. And then I did really regret it afterwards, but oh well, what can you do? What can you do? You get a nice cross in there. Also, Chamberlain hits the bar from the cross. So, that was a great chance again there. They got played through on goal. Waters is just a terrible striker, so I didn't score. Um, Nabry gets a cross in. It goes down and then headed down to Coquelin. Coquelin scores. Francis Coquelin never thought he was a goal scorer, but he scores goals like that, and that is just fantastic. Great effort there. And look at the way that he strikes that across his body. Just fantastic. So... Then this happened, and I don't really know what happened here, because there was no contact made with the striker at all. Mursaka does actually get sent off from this as well, which is really quite stupid in my opinion. But, oh well. It's Mursaka, we have Vermaelen and Ogbonna and Koscielny as well. So, and then they had a penalty, and as you know, guys, I am the boss at saving penalties, but Charlie Adam is also a boss at set pieces, so who's going to win? I win. Of course I do. And that did finish the game. Two goals, two nil. And we obviously got that saying he was suspended for one game. So I'm, I'm all right with that. And Squalachi returns home to Arsenal, but it wasn't really that great. And I'm through a squad report here. We had a bunch of players who became really, like, they just got boosted in their attributes so much. I was really surprised. But, you know, like Ogbonna, Mertesacker, um, DRB, Kazola, Fabianski. Great. So, um, yeah. That's all I've got time for today, guys. Um, follow us on Twitter like the video if you enjoyed it it was a nice video to make so I'm sure you all enjoyed it but um, yeah subscribe if you want to see more and uh, yeah, see you next time goodbye